Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini here. I just wanted to give you that quick tutorial on doing the mock-ups in the Silhouette Studio. Um, the first thing that I do is go into Creative Market or there's a lot of other places you can search as well. These are licensed files so you can use them whenever you're advertising to your customers. What I do is search for wood paper or I may look for a wood mock-up and it will open up this page and it gives you a lot of different options for um, backgrounds that you can use for your files depending on what kind of wood sign you plan on painting. This one's really pretty. I haven't seen it before. Um, so you'll go through and you'll just pick whichever one that you like and we're going to use that to do our mock-up in Silhouette. So after you purchase it and download it, go into Silhouette and then you are just going to find your file that you just purchased and open it. And I have this one. And then you can go through and see all of the different backgrounds that they supply to you and pick which one you like the best. Let's go with, sorry, this one for this tutorial. So we're just going to open this up. Zoom out a little bit. And I like to move it off of this red box because even whenever we turn this off, uh, you can still see the line of the map through here. So let's just resize this a bit and we'll pull it over here so you see your dimensions um, this one is almost 21 by 21 the sign that I want to do with you today is going to be about a 12 by 24 so I'm just going to make this go down closer to 12 inches and then I will spread it out closer to 24 inches and now I have my background so what I'm going to do then is go find my file I'm going to open up, let's do one of these files I have given to you guys. And you're going to want to open up the DXF or the SVG depending on which um, software you have. Let's just do the DXF since it's a little bit trickier. Whenever you open it, it's separate pieces. So what we're going to want to do is hit one, command A, so now it's selected everything. I am going to want the hearts to be a different color. So I'm going to hit shift and select each heart. And now you can see there's no box around them, so they're no longer selected. And with what I have selected still, I'm going to hit command E to make it a compound path. Now I'm going to click both hearts and hit command G to group them. And then just copy all of this together and move it over to my piece of wood. Let's zoom into this a little bit. Okay, now we'll hit Command V to paste. Actually, it goes over here to the mat. So we'll just pull this up over here. Make sure you select your words and your hearts. and just pull it to fit. And then what I'm gonna do is select my words. I'm gonna make them a, let's make them this kind of minty color. Then we'll go over here to our line color and make it the same color. And then for the hearts, oops, sorry. Click the hearts, and I want them to be a pink. Okay, so then that's it. This is what you're going to send to your customer. Um, you'll want to find some kind of overlay to put over it to, you know, watermark it so they can't steal your design. You can type your name. Whenever this goes down to the next line, it's because this bar needs to come out a little bit. Let's just say that I type my name, hit copy. I'm going to go up to Object, Replicate, and I'm going to do a column of four so it's all in a line. I'm going to make this big enough to fit up here. Copy and paste. Now I have eight of them. And I'm just going to align them in the center of each other and space them vertically and pull this over my design. 
and go up here to the color and do just a really, really light gray color. Maybe even like, let's see. Transparency. Let's turn it up. You can kind of just scatter these around. So it doesn't really take away from your design too much. Except for my name is spelled weird. So hopefully on y'all's you won't have this problem, but it'll just be on there. They can still kind of see their design, but if they went to copy it, it would copy all these little pieces of your name too. So on a Mac, I would just hit Command Shift 4 and it would do a screenshot. And then that's what I would send my customer. And if I want to get rid of the watermark so we can see what it looks like, let's just select my hearts, my words, my background, get rid of all. Okay. Let's do one more command shift four. And then I'll post in the comments what these look like for you guys. Alrighty, hopefully that answered all your questions. Let me know if you have any more questions regarding these. Thanks.